welcome back to today's uh, class and uh, we have seen all the nutrients their functions their sources what are the symptoms of deficiency what are the symptoms when we take in excess and let us just uh, very quickly brush up what are the various nutritional disorders that are caused by the uh, excess or deficient intake of all these nutrients so protein energy malnutrition is a very important uh, disorder then vitamin a deficiency iron deficiency b complex deficiency and iodine deficiency these are the important main uh, nutritional disorders that occur because of excess or deficient intake of various nutrients that is the protein energy malnutrition so this uh, is a deficiency of protein and uh, calories in the diet so it refers to the form of malnutrition the types of uh, protein energy malnutrition are one is the when there is only protein deficiency the deficiency is called as kwashiorkor and marasmus is when there is deficiency in the calorie intake so there may be marasmus uh, alone or kwashiorkor alone and sometimes there is marasmic kwashiorkor so this occurs when there is protein deficiency and also calorie deficiency present in the uh, individual now marasmus is a form of severe malnutrition it, it is characterized by uh, severe energy deficiency so the child uh, who is uh, marasmic looks very emaciated so body weight is reduced less than 60% of the normal or standard body weight expected for that age and uh, marasmus occurs increasing to the prior to age 1 see this happens when the uh, second child is born and the mother uh, puts off the first baby from the breast and uh, it has to be weaned early then under such conditions the child becomes marasmic so this is how the marasmic child looks and you can see the clinical manifestation there is lot of wasting there is no muscle at all and uh, growth retardation is there because the weight reduces by Sixty uh, percent of the normal weight, and there are mental changes. There is no edema at all, and the temperature is subnormal because there is no subcutaneous fat and muscle in the body, and there is no appetite, and often there is diarrhea present in the child. And Kwashiorkor it occurs uh, after eighteen months of age, so. the marasmus can be when the child is put on to the adult diet the child is not able to feed it pro itself properly therefore they under such conditions protein deficiency also occurs and the child comes to kwashiorkor stage so this is how the kwashiorkor child looks like so it is looking like a normal child isn't it so very difficult to assess how whether the child is having a kwashiorkor or a normal child there is no change in the body weight so we have to go only by the diagnostic test so there is edema muscle wasting muscle wasting is covered by edema so that does not look as the child is muscle wasting and psychomotor changes and you have common signs like uh, hair changes hair becomes uh, brown in color there is diffuse depigmentation of the skin the face looks like a moon face because of edema it becomes very round you may think the child is chubby but it is a deficient child then there is anemia so this is uh, got only by testing the blood of the child see the difference between the kwashiorkor and uh, the uh, marasmic child the kwashiorkor child has swelling of legs then sparse hair the hair is lost moon face with little interest in surroundings he is not at all interested in surroundings he keeps on crying then flaky appearance of the skin because the skin becomes dry and flaky and swollen abdomen and the muscles are thin but fat is present whereas in the marasmic child the hair is normal you can see the hair is normal but the child looks like a pocket sized old man okay and the, the limbs become very thin without any muscle or fat and the body weight is only less than 60% of standard weight next vitamin a deficiency also commonly occurs in children who are not fed properly so this is lack of vitamin a in body 
So, in generally it uh, is very common in poor countries and rarely seen in developed countries. So, the first symptom of vitamin A deficiency is nyctolopia or night blindness and this is the first sign that is the child will not be able to see in dark. Generally, when we get into a dark place, within seconds we get adapted to the darkness and we are able to see some objects very slightly. But a child who is a deficient in vitamin A will not be able to adapt to the darkness and cannot see in night. Then xerophthalmia that is the cornea and the retina are involved. So, conjunctiva and cornea both are involved and there is ulceration. Finally, there is complete blindness, the eye just melts down. So, this can occur in the children below 6 years. That is why the government has given a, a prophylaxis program of giving 2 lakh international units of vitamin A every 6 months to a child below 6 years. So, this is how the eye looks like, it just melts down, the cornea, the conjunctiva, everything is involved and the child becomes sightless. Now, next the iron deficiency, iron deficiency causes anemia in any age. So, this comes quickly after the great symptoms like confusion, then uh, feeling that one is going to pass out, that means you feel so so much of palpitation is there, so much of confusion is there, there is increased thirst and there is need for to be significant anemia before a person becomes notably plain. That is uh, the paleness is uh, seen only after the anemic condition goes very severe, till then these clinical symptoms are not seen. So, there may be ad additional symptoms depending upon the uh, cause that is behind causing anemia. So, the anemic person becomes easily fatigued and there is loss of energy and there is rapid heartbeat that is uh, palpitations occur in the heart and particularly with exercise the individual cannot do exercise for a longer period. There is shortness of breath because the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood decreases. Then there is headache and uh, particularly with exercise the headache increases then the person is not able to concentrate because the level of hemoglobin is less, oxygen consumption is less, the energy input is less and it causes dizziness, the skin becomes pale, the eyelids become pale, there are cramps in the leg and there is sleeplessness that is insomnia. So, this is how the eyelids look pale and the tongue looks pale and you can see the fingers and if the anemia becomes very severe, then your uh, nails become like spoon shaped, which is called as coilonychia. Then deficiency of B complex vitamins, so vitamin B1, we have already seen that deficiency of uh, thiamine causes beriberi and if it affects both the heart and the nervous system and uh, there is irregular heartbeat and edema. And riboflavin deficiency generally it causes a riboflavinosis, which causes chelosis, angular chelitis, and glossitis. That is, the tongue uh, gets cracked, it starts bleeding, there are cracks on the lips, and uh, the angles of the mouth also get cracked, which is called as angular stomatitis. Then, niacin deficiency, we have already seen that. It is caused because of deficiency of tryptophan and it uh, is called as pellagra. There is, uh, it is a disease of 3 Ds that is dermatitis, dementia and diarrhea and this again causes insomnia, sleeplessness and weakness and there is mental conf confusion, this is dementia. And if this is neglected over a long period, it may lead to death. Pantothenic acid deficiency causes acne and paresthesia. So, that is tingling sensation in the um, periphery of the body and uh, vitamin B6 that is pyridoxin, it causes dermatitis, especially in the uh, wherever the sebaceous glands are present, it causes seboric dermatitis. Then biotin deficiency, it causes symptoms like impaired growth and neurological disorders and vitamin B9 or folic acid, we were talking about it that it 
does not help the RBCs to mature properly, so that they decrease in size. At the megaloblastic stage, it is stopped. Therefore, it leads to macrocytic anemia and it also elevates the homocysteine levels which affects the heart. And when it is deficient in pregnant women, it can lead to birth defects like neural tube defects which is called as spina bifida. Then vitamin B12 deficiency, this again like folic acid results in the megaloblastic anemia or macrocytic anemia. So, vitamin B12 and folic acid both are involved in maturation of RBCs. So, this anemia is called as pernicious anemia. Again there are elevated levels of homocysteine and causes peripheral neuropathy and the deficiency occurs because of the lack of intrinsic factor in the stomach. So, deficiency occurs only because of lack of absorption and there is synthesis of vitamin B12 in the large intestine which is of no use. Now, iodine deficiency, it is lack of the iodine that is uh, taken in the food leads to goiter and cretinism and uh, this may in children it leads to developmental delays and other health problems. So, this again iodine also is a, has become a public health problem because more and more population are getting into the iodine deficiency. Therefore, the government has started, uh, it, has, it has banned the normal salt and it is forced to uh, implement the intake of iodized salt in the population. So, we have seen the uh, pictures of goiter and cretinism in children. In short about all the nutrient disorders that occur which are more common and which have a great impact on the health of the children and adults. Thank you.